Hello everyone, this is Yours Trivia, and welcome back to another episode of Theorycraft Thursday. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, Theorycraft Thursday is a weekly series for the upcoming collectible card game, Total War Elysium, where I will dive into a certain gameplay or design topic, and this week, we have a brand new teaser out for the upcoming general that is going to join the game in Duvu, who is a marshal of Napoleon, as he is going to become the third general of the French Republic faction in the Empire era. So since this is only a tease, we don't know everything we would like about Duvu and how he will be played, but we do know his status historically as one of Napoleon's greatest marshals, and unfortunately Napoleon kept him at home in Paris during the Battle of Waterloo, which probably contributed to his defeat as Duvu was very talented, and his iron defense Sinkracar kind of resembles his attempt to defend Paris, even though there was negotiations by the government at the end, and there wasn't really a final showdown in Paris. But you can still see that it's reflected in Sinkra card, which is a two-cost uh, card that will give you a palisade on your front line. So it's a structure card. And the other card that's been teased as part of the announcement is the adaptation of some current cards. For example, the Wild Geese will now have a shatter effect that will fill your hands with full of round shots and supply catches. Now the details of how that will work is still up in the air. I don't know if you will just get half and half to fill out your hand, or is there a random card draw each time so you could get a random amount of round shots and supply catches. Either way, it makes for a very interesting new card, uh, replacing its old effect. And Duvu here has a very interesting mechanic in that if you have at least 9 cards in your hand, and as a reminder, max hand size is 12 in the game, then all allies on this line will have plus 1 plus 1. And that includes himself. So he will become a 1 attack, 31 health general, whenever he has this passive active. So building a big hand will be a big part of how Duru plays. So, what cards come to mind when I look at these three new teasers, thinking about what potential deck or archetype that Duru would play into? Well, for one, Structure Artillery comes to mind with the recent changes to Earthworks Battery. And Earthwork Battery, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the card, is a 1-3 structure card that has short range and will deploy another foot artillery on the same line whenever you deploy another structure. And the most common combo with this card would be Stockade, which will be a one cost event card that will help you deploy two structures in Palisades and therefore you can spawn up to two foot artilleries with your Earthwork Battery and with your Iron Defense, which will cost two, will spawn another Palisade, always on the front line, and it will help you spawn yet another foot artillery, giving you many foot artillery to work with. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with foot artillery, they're the free unit that Napoleon starts out with. It's a 1-2 token artillery unit that has short range. And then another card that really comes to mind, along with the structure playstyle, is Vineyard. Because Vineyard will always give you a supply catch at end of turn. So it's a card that is hand neutral, let's say. When we play it, we always get at least one card back, which means we'll keep the number of cards in our hand. And it's likely we can probably generate multiple supply catches with Vineyard, and that way we can build up our hand till that magical nine card threshold where Duval himself will boost his line by plus one plus one, which is quite powerful if you think about it, because it is quite strong buff for these artillery units or even these frontline structure units. And then moving on, other cards that come to mind, one, as you can see, is the foot artillery unit that's being showcased. Once we have a bunch of these from Earthwork Battery, we can play our artillery officer, which will add additional round shots to our hand whenever we use an artillery unit. So this is another great way to build our hand size, as round shots are great additions to your hand. They're very flexible, you can choose when you want to use them, and it's always nice to have extra ping damage in your hand. And it farther increases the total damage of your artillery units, since you are essentially getting an extra damage added in there. 
And this brings us to other ideas of adding cards to our hand, such as Fresh Order, which is a net plus one to your hand size when you play it, since you do play one event card to draw two cards. Cards like Chasseur RP, which is a short range infantry unit that will give us additional palisades to our hand at every daybreak. So these are great additions. They are 2-4, which means they have pretty high health stat helping them survive. They're going to do great on your back line. And it feels like for this deck, it's going to be a lot of frontline structures and backline short range units. And then another card that's slightly expensive and a potential addition is Ship of the Line, which is a 1-8 unit that will have long range. And whenever this attacks, it will add additional round shots to your hand. So this means that you'll be able to add more cards in your hand. And that's all great things for Duo. And of course, these are just some of the theory craft we can do with our current cards, as it is mentioned in the teaser that we're going to get additional new cards added in when Duo is introduced, as well as more changes to existing cards to reinforce his potential playstyle. And it's actually quite exciting to get a new general for the French Republic and the Empire era, as I feel empires have some of the strongest cards in terms of card quality, and I have high hopes for Duel bringing in some new changes to the meta, as Earthworks Battery is already very strong, and I have been experimenting a little bit with artillery spam on Napoleon, since he does start out with one free artillery, and the possibility of boosting all your artillery with the event card that gives it plus one plus one has always been very intriguing, and given the fact that you always have a potential to get the 30 damage from artillery daily mission to get more coins, it's a fun deck to have in your inventory to just play around the fact that you can spawn free artillery and you're trying to get the maximum value from your plan card as you want to hold them for as long as possible as you attempt to build your hand size. Potential combos like Scribe to draw out a lot of cards or to maintain your hand size is going to be great because imagine you have a bunch of round shots and then you play Scribe and Tactician, which reduces all your event cards to zero cost, and you can flood out all the round shots you've been saving for a ton of damage while drawing equal amounts of cards from your deck to maintain your hand size and thus your bonus on the line that Duval is in. So a lot of cool potentials that we can see in the future with this deck, and I can't wait till we see some new cards and new generals added into the game. So just want to throw this teaser out there as we finally did get the announcement yesterday and looking forward to more news as well as this weekend's deck showcase. Until then, bye!